Well, I'm sorry, no big movie stars or million dollar directors. I'm merely Eric Sorensen from Sports 360 AZ. I'm here with Doug Haller from AZ Central Sports. Day one of two of Pac-12 Football Media Day here in Hollywood. Doug, let's start uh, with the Arizona Wildcats. We'll know more about ASU on Friday. The Cats picked fourth in the Pac-12 South. Initial reactions. Well, I think that's where everyone expected ASU and U of A to be, fourth or fifth, and that's the way it turned out. Eric, it kind of reminds me when the conference split into two divisions in 2011, people kind of feared that, you know, it's going to be the L.A. schools and then everyone else. UCLA, USC is picked at the top. ASU and U of A is down at the bottom. Um, will this be the new norm? But with, with Arizona, with their just concerns on defense, uh, they've given up 6,000 yards the last two seasons. Rich Rodriguez had to make some changes, fired his whole defensive staff. Uh, he, I asked him about the defense, defense, what it's going to look like. You know, he's being a little coy right now. He doesn't want to give up any secrets, but uh, they're going to have to be better on that end. About the only thing as consistent as the Pac-12 changing venues for this event is the U of A having a quarterback finger quote competition. We're at it again this year. Uh, a new Solomon, the incumbent, Brandon Dawkins, the rising prospect. Is this all coach speak from Coach Rod? I think it's got to be. I mean, don't you? I mean, Solomon, that's one of their main uh, advantages. I mean, the conference has a lot of uncertainty at quarterback. And here's U of A with a guy that has two years of star, uh, starting experience under his belt. That's a positive. I think it's something that Rich is just doing to try to motivate Solomon. Um, but, you know, he stuck to it today and said it's a, they're going to go with the best guy. But I'd really be surprised uh, if anyone else but Solomon wins that job. And I know you touched upon the defense a little bit. No Will Parks, obviously no Scooby right now with the Cleveland Browns. You said, and we all saw, the defense gave up so many big plays. Will a new staff completely change all the dynamics of that defense, even with their two best players now gone? Well, I think what it does is it kind of starts a new beginning, a starting point. Rich said today that what he likes best or what he liked best during the spring was just the uh, new enthusiasm. And that can go a long way. Can it carry you through a season? No, it can't. But, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't think that U of A is going to go from here to here defensively, but maybe they could make one small step. You know that offense is going to score points, so maybe it just, they just need to be a little bit better defensively to make a move in the South. Well, those are a couple of the big storylines to keep an eye on down in Tucson. Again, Arizona State comes through tomorrow, the back half of Pac-12 Football Media Day here in Hollywood.